We've come to beat your head for our next adventure. What's Rahan waving at? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it Superman? No, it's a man with the parachute. Let's investigate. <laughs> There's something attached to his back, and he's going to land. So basically, it's a, it's a glider that flies like a like a wing. And you've got this is the motor. It's a 185 engine, like, like a motorbike engine, two stroke, with about 80 kilos of thrust. There's your harness, and that's it. You clip in, pull the wing up, get it up to speed, and then and then you can take off, hit the throttle, and away you go. That's your, that's your throttle there. Well, that's not for going faster, that just puts you up in the air. When I'm up there and I pull that, I don't go forward, I go up. It incl inclines me so I can climb up to a thousand feet in, you know, like a minute really. It's, it's quick, it gets up there quick. I always knew about it. I'd done paragliding when I was about 23 years ago, when my daughter was um, being born. But I, I got fed up with that, waiting on the hill all the time, because you have to, it's all weather dependent. In fact, there's a couple of lads. When I took off, I can see them over there. You can see they've got a windsock up over there. The difference with paragliding is you have to have a hill and you have to have the right wind and that. With this, you can take off on flat ground. It's a bit more... That's what, that's what appealed to me more with this one, you know? With the motor rather than free-flying. This all disassembles, yeah, this all breaks down. You can, you can put them in the boot of a car. That's the whole idea of it. You go flying out of the boot of your car. Like my mate Jason, he folds his one up and puts it in the car. But I've got the van there and I like to keep it built, you know. But I can, but it takes about 20 minutes to break it down, it's nothing at all. And then it could go in a car if you want. Yeah, they can even go in a suitcase, it all breaks down to go to take a broad and that, you know. That set up there, that's about 6,000 there. And then the wings are about 3,500. It, it's about 10,000 really to, to get set up. And once you've got it, it's, it's good. But you can get it all second hand. That, that's my second, I've only just bought this, a new one. I bought a second hand one for, and a wing for 6,000. So yeah, you can do it for, you could actually do it for about 5,000 fly out the boat of your car. And that's why I say, why, why wouldn't you? If you can do it, why wouldn't you? You think of all the years man's been on earth and look to the skies and want to fly, now you can do it so easily, you know? And that's why I do it. And it's amazing when you're up there, it's, it's mad, Such isn't it? Buzz, isn't it? That's why I couldn't start. I flooded my engine, you see the spark plug. That should be a nice coffee color, not a black color. You know, this, I mean, this is a fantastic hobby. It really is. Relatively safe. Yeah. Italian, 185 cc, 36 brake horsepower. It lasts about 100 hours before you got to rebuild it, strip it down. But this is light and it's plenty of power, which is what you need for this sport. And if it cuts out, we're coming down. You know, we're gliding, we're landing somewhere. Yeah. So we're always looking, we don't fly over houses, we don't fly over people, we don't fly, we're looking about where we can land all the time in case we have a problem. So we head that way, that way. Yeah. Half hour, turn around, come back. Yeah. Fine. I think they're ready to take off. Yep, that's the signal. Good luck. I wish I 
is up there with them. One last flyby and off they go. Maybe you'll see them later. Time to stretch our legs. What other surprises will we see at Beachy Head? Come on, Mummy, keep up. What are those people looking at? It's paragliders, Jason mentioned. They don't have engines, so they rely on the power of the wind, just like a bird. This is a compass for us. It shows north and south and different big cities, like Lima, New York, Ottawa, Dublin, Belfast, Edinburgh, Baghdad, Auckland, Oslo, Tokyo, Seoul. This is a quaint little museum that we discovered all about Beachy Head. People have found amazing things just in the surrounding land. Things that were buried or lost. The sparkly metal is called pyrite and people thought it was real gold. Hence the reason it's called fool's gold. We can find ammonite fossils here as well. Here are bird eggs from the surrounding area. Aren't they pretty? This isn't pretty. This skeleton remains is called the beachy head woman. She died during the Roman times, and they found her bones only a few years ago. What a great view! Look, binoculars! What can you see, Rahan? Cows? Maybe you can see our final destination, the beach! This is the beach part of Beachy Head. The beach is full of hard stones. It's not easy to walk on. As you can see, it's very popular here. Oh look, it's our friends from before. I bet they have the best view from up there. We have a little time to explore before we go home. So we'll say bye for now. Bye bye. <laughs>